Welcome to the Birken Road Reports 2015 Equity Analysis for Marine Products Corporation. This year's contributing analysts are Justin Blair, Dan Brownfield, Grace Kamick, Raquel Cannon, and Alan Posner. This analysis will include our team's valuation of the company, a look at the company's profile, industry and competitor analyses, a look at the company's greatest risks, and our investment thesis for the company. Our analysts have assigned Marine Products a 12-month target price of $9 and an investment rating of market perform based on three multiples methods which compare the company's key ratios to those of its peers. Our analysts used price to earnings, price to book value, and enterprise value to EBITDA ratios in their valuation of marine products. Our valuation of marine products indicates a 12-month price increase of 91 cents based on positive macroeconomic factors, steady increases in consumer confidence, and the company's ability to utilize excess capacity to meet increased consumer demand. Marine Products is an Atlanta-based manufacturer of family recreational and sport fishing motorboats. It operates manufacturing facilities in Nashville, Georgia, and sells its two brands, Chaparral and Robalo, through a global network of dealers. Marine Products has a varied product mix with nearly 50 boat models with sizes ranging from 18 to 33 feet and prices ranging from $23,000 to over $300,000. At the start of 2015, Marine Products further diversified its product offering by adding a new outboard engine deck boat called the Suncoast to its Chaparral line in an effort to acquire more market share. The recreational boat manufacturing industry is mature and highly fragmented, with its largest competitor retaining only 8% of market share. The industry is supported by three primary drivers, consumer confidence, unemployment levels, and oil and fuel prices, and the industry anticipates 5% sales growth in 2015. Because the boat manufacturing industry is highly fragmented and very competitive, it is most vulnerable to buyer strength, as manufacturers have very little pricing power. Conversely, the high cost of manufacturing and strong consumer brand loyalty shield the industry from the threat of additional market entry. Marine Products' primary competitors are Brunswick Corporation and J&D Holdings. Brunswick Corporation holds the largest industry market share at 8.5% and has a dealer network and supply chain similar to those of Marine Products. J&D Holdings is a private company that acquired market share by purchasing the Genmar Boat Companies. J&D Holdings offers brands whose lines range from entry-level boats priced at $14,000 to luxury yachts priced at over $3 million. Marine products' primary operational risks are closely linked to the industry's primary drivers, macroeconomic factors, consumer confidence, and fuel prices. In a weak economy with low consumer confidence, consumers are less likely to purchase luxury products such as boats. Likewise, high fuel prices increase the overall cost of boating, which can also hamper boat sales. Boat manufacturers like marine products face additional risks posed by the seasonal nature of boat sales. The company's most significant financial risks are presented by interest rates and the precarious nature of product development. High interest rates make boats more expensive because most purchases are made through lines of credit. Interest rates do not, however, affect the company's ability to finance operations because it has no debt in its capital structure. The investment risk in product development is simply the risk that consumers will not easily welcome new product lines. Regulatory agencies may also pose risks for marine products as they impose new safety or environmental regulations with which the company must comply. These regulations are typically those governing carbon emissions and fire or water safety, which may significantly increase the cost of production when altered. Other regulations governing license and registration processes 
as well as catch limits and protected species lists for sport fishing, may deter consumers from engaging in boating activities or making boat purchases. Our analysts have concluded that investors can expect marine products to perform well over the next year, with growing sales driven by rising consumer confidence and low fuel prices. The company has signaled its anticipation of such growth by recently increasing its workforce and expanding into additional manufacturing facilities. Additionally, the company has shown investors that its zero debt structure enables it to weather economic storms. However, this stock's illiquidity due to insider holdings of 72% of outstanding shares may cater better to the long-term investor. Thank you for watching our equity analysis coverage for Marine Products Corporation. For a more detailed report, please visit www.birkenroad.org. The Birkenroad reports are provided solely as a part of an educational program of Tulane University's A.B. Freeman School of Business. The reports are not investment advice, and you should not and may not rely on them in making any investment decision. You should consult an investment professional and or conduct your own primary research regarding a potential investment.